It's nearly a week since the eruption of violent incidents in Nalua municipality, which resulted into the death of one person and the arrest and detention of several people, including members of parliament and journalists. Many of those who were arrested were allegedly tortured, including Chadondo East MP Robert Chagulanyi. Chagulanyi's family and friends have since been vocal in condemning his arrest and torture while also demanding for his release. The detained legislator's family now claims that they have received threats from unknown people. Chagulanyi, wabatu kubi ama simu agati sati sama anji, ni mungana wangi chisasi chesi jia kutia, chetushari jia kutia. Mumu mwaga la tutia nyo. Yetu kondi mungamu fumutu wa mtu wa fe, timumu sonyo wa misangu, mtu wetu mungi anjari kitu wakala choka. However, they say no amount of threats will stop them from fighting for the freedom of their relative, who is said to be in a critical condition as a result of his mistreatment at the hands of the military. I believe Chagulani's intentions of standing for a higher position is the wrong thing. After all, you've not paid us for 30 years. Some family members who attended the press briefing broke down in tears as they narrated the state in which their relative is. They have demanded for Chagulani's release from much India military barracks so that he can be given better medical care. Chagulani government yetu yambe, yetu dize bobi, guwanga fe, avali ya waka, awazali wa bobi, tulimubuzibu, tulimubu yinike. We need the European Union to intervene. Others, this might be my last speech as well. Humble plea is, please. Let us give Bobby Wine the necessary medication. They fear that Chagulani may lose his life if he does not receive the care he needs. Chagulani, he doesn't even have a basic cannula on his hand. According to his story, according to what I saw, however much Chagulani is alive, Chagulani could die any time. Bobby Wine is now detained at much in the military barracks, where he was demanded by a court martial in Guru on charges of illegal possession of ammunition and firearms. Ivan Chumushgozi, NTV.